Chair recognizes the Chairman of the Retirement Committee, Chairman Battles, for an invite resolution. Chairman Battles. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and it's a joy for me to be able to show off some of the fine young people that's in our community. And uh, it's represented today by uh, those that are here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and recognize some that are in the gallery that are part of the uh, high school baseball team. Would you stand right over here? Go Canes. Uh, I enjoyed the privilege of going through that fine institution myself. Uh, if the clerk would read the uh, resolution. Whereas the Cartersville High School baseball team has been consistently recognized as one of the state's elite baseball programs. And whereas this year's Cartersville High School baseball team finished the season with a 30 and seven overall record and a 14 0 regional record. And whereas on Saturday, May 25th, 2013, the Hurricanes baseball team traveled to Gainesville, Georgia and defeated the North Hall Trojans by a score to four to two and two to one to win the AAA baseball state championship. And whereas this is the sixth state championship for the Cartersville High School baseball program and whereas the members of the Cartersville High School baseball team serve as a reminder that hard work, dedication, and commitment to a common goal can lead to great success. And whereas the players continue to represent the community with excellence and character, both on and off the playing field. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the House of Representatives that the member of this body commend the Cartersville High School baseball team on their many accomplishments. Thank you. I would like to introduce the head baseball coach of that uh, 2013 AAA state championship, uh, but this is nothing new to him. This and to these coaches, uh, they have been a part of championships. Matter of fact, this is the second time that I've had the opportunity to, to bring them and, and, and recognize here uh, in the house. I just want just very quickly to, to remind uh, those of you who are uh, representing baseball, high school sports, get behind those sports and they'll certainly produce great players and great uh, adults as they grow up. I want to introduce you to um, Coach Stuart Chester who is the head baseball coach and his coaches that are with him. Uh, Stuart back on January the 18th was inducted into the Georgia High School Georgia Dugout Club Hall of Fame, and uh, which is a great honor in itself. Uh, but uh, unselfishly, he's here today to uh, honor uh, his team that has accomplished once again a state championship. And we're going to uh, let Coach Chester come and and recognize those of his of his staff. Last time he was here, Sugarland was here. And he was looking to see if they, if they were back again or she was back again. Uh, didn't happen, I'm sorry, but uh, Coach Chester. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Being a uh, somewhat educated country boy from the hills of Dawson County, uh, I need the grace that the pastor talked about earlier. Uh, to get behind this microphone, but uh, Mr. Speaker, House, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule uh, to have us down here. Uh, also, I want to thank uh, Representative Battles, uh, the things he does for our community, for our high school, for our young people, uh, for our baseball program uh, is second to none, and and we are successful because of people uh, just just like that. And I, I do have to say this: I was very impressed and and very honored and, and proud to be from the state of Georgia that before you work, uh, start your work day uh, that you share in the Word of God and, and, and from the Scripture. And, and I'm proud to be uh, from the state of Georgia uh, and that, that you put that as an emphasis. Uh, you know, in education, we, we kind of have to back off a little bit, but, but you don't down here, and I really appreciate that. Uh, I want to thank uh, my coaches, uh, Matt Montgomery, Kyle Tucker, David Cagle, 
Mark Collier and uh, the guy that really runs the program, Cliff Dempsey, who, who plans everything for us, to the baseball players that's done everything, uh, you know, ask of them. I do want to explain just a little bit about those guys. We did win the state championship, but that's all you see when you show up at, at, at the field as a scoreboard. And, and I think in today's society, we put too much emphasis on the scoreboard. Uh, we really plan and want our guys to come in as a freshman and when they leave as a senior to be a better man. And these guys over the past year, uh, you know, at, at Thanksgiving, we have a new Frontiers organization. Uh, they get up at 8 o'clock Thanksgiving morning and, and, and go help feed the hungry. Uh, they're responsible for money themselves from their jobs that they go out and raise money. And we provided this year Christmas for 16 needy uh, children in our community. Uh, we do practice on Sundays, which is voluntary uh, after church. But before we begin practice, we also have a uh, player-led devotion. And it's, it's very touching to see them talk about their faith, uh, their belief, and, and what they stand for. And again, I really appreciate you taking time out of your work day and your session to honor us. Uh, we are because of many. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.